Camilla, sister to Xander, Elise, and Leo, is a Norian princess hailing from the world of Fire Emblem Fates who fights atop her trusty wyvern. Minerva, a princess of Macedon who hails from the world of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, also fights atop a wyvern with a mighty axe. Together, Camilla and Minerva share a unique moveset that in one very specific case is completely unparalleled in the game. We'll get into what that is and more in a bit, but for now, it's time to jump into some of the basics and see what these two can do. Camilla and Minerva's standard attack string consists of seven strikes. They will slam in front, slash right, pound the wyvern's tail down to the front, slash upwards, slash down and right again, pound several times in front, and end with a big sweeping attack to the front. Despite the fact that Camilla and Minerva do all of these attacks while atop a flying mount, what really separates their playstyle from all of the other flyers, not to mention the horse mounted characters, is just how focused this attack string is. Although there is some forward movement, Camilla and Minerva don't go flying off in this or that direction while slashing, and their attack string is, on the whole, very controllable, and if anything, it only really suffers from a lack of range. Considering the wyvern's massive size, it actually would be a bit better if they proceeded forward more more while attacking, but as is, this is a decent start for both of these characters. Camilla and Minerva's heavy attack is connected to their charge bar, which is filled whenever you hit an enemy with your attacks. At 0 to 50% charge, they will simply swipe their axe. When your bar is above 50%, they will slam them again. At 100%, they will grab an enemy and execute several slashes, ending in an explosion. This attack, in its later two forms, has the useful property of being able to grab enemies, something which can prolong a stun gauge if it's open, but all in all, even at 100% charge, this heavy attack really isn't all that useful. It takes a little bit of time for the wyvern riders to change from attacking to executing this heavy attack, and since your enemy must already be close to you in order to be grabbed, you're actually better off just setting up for longer combos than using this. Moving on to their combos, for the first one, Camilla and Minerva will do a backflip with their wyvern, knocking foes up into the air. This attack comes out very fast, and it serves its purpose as a quick launcher for juggling. For their second combo, they will do a big spin with their axe and tail, finishing with two axe swipes. This combo has pretty big area potential, and it comes out extremely fast. It isn't their best method of racking up KOs, as I'm going to get to that a little bit later, but it functions as an excellent little bit of area burst damage nonetheless. For their third combo, Camilla and Minerva will twirl their axe while summoning a fireball above, before throwing it with a flip forward. There are a few problems with this combo which severely hurt these two characters' dueling potential. First, the hitbox on this attack is just kind of wonky. The fireball hits a little distance forward, which makes it hard to always line up properly when a stronger foe, like a general, is in your face. Also, the short channeling time of the fireball leaves them both very vulnerable to attack during this. There are ways to work around this, such as starting the animation while your enemy is charging you. However, if your timing isn't perfect, it's very easy to either miss or suffer unnecessary damage. A good third combo can make or break a character, but unfortunately the wyvern riders come up a bit lacking on this front. Moving on to their fourth combo, Minerva and Camilla will unleash a flurry of axe attacks in front of them, before rising into the air and finishing with a big blast. This combo is great for capitalizing on stun gauges while they're open, and on top of that, it also does a good amount of damage. It doesn't have the usual area potential of most fourth combos, but for these characters, as I'll get into later, that aspect doesn't really matter much. For their fifth and final combo, Camilla and Minerva will unleash a smashing series of attacks, finishing with another blast at the end. This combo lasts a little bit longer than the previous one, something which is kind of a double-edged sword. While you can do more damage with this combo, you are also vulnerable from the sides and back for longer as well. You should use this attack with caution, as you're unable to cancel out of it once you've begun it. Minerva and Camilla, being human axe wielders atop wyverns, suffer from a weakness to both dragon-killing weapons, such as Marth, Krom, Lucina, and Lin's unique weapons, as well as from a weakness to archers due to being flying. This makes them easily the most dangerous characters to field, but if you do, both of these characters add a huge amount of utility to your team. I should also say that Minerva's skill is able to cancel out these severe weaknesses, which makes them both a lot more viable. Like the Pegasus Knights, the Wyvern Riders have a movement speed of 20, which means they are four times faster than an average ground base user. Thankfully, their overall playstyle is way more controllable than the Pegasus Knights. Stat-wise, similar to the and Navarre situation, I've heard some really overblown analysis of these two, with many claiming that Minerva is miles better based on their stats. However, this is not exactly true. Like most of these character-to-character -character comparisons,
assassins, it's a trade-off. Minerva has naturally higher strength, while Camilla has higher magic defense. Minerva has better luck, although it still isn't great, while Camilla has higher magic attack. Other than that, they're almost exactly the same, so just use whichever one you prefer. Personally, I almost always use Camilla, and not exactly for the reasons you might be thinking, but rather because I vastly prefer how her wyvern looks visually. Anyways, I suppose it's time to finally address the elephant in the room that I have been holding back on all video, and that is the absolutely ridiculously overpowered KO gathering potential that these two have. Being mounted characters, Minerva and Camilla both have additional dashing attacks. If you hit standard attack while dashing, they will come to a screeching halt with their wyvern's claws, and this attack takes the place of the first strike and their standard string, which means that it can be easily continued on into the rest of their standard attacks. Alternatively, you can hit heavy attack to have the wyvern perform a flying backflip ground pound, which hits in a huge area with a ridiculous amount of power behind it. For most characters, quick hits like this one only do a small amount of damage, but every one of these ground pounds you perform seems like it hits with almost the same strength as a full combo. During the cooldown animation, where your wyvern is still on the ground, you are able to jump into another dash by simply moving the analog stick in any direction and hitting B, which means that you can then transition right into another ground pound. This process of dashing, pounding, dashing, pounding over and over again is the fastest method in the game of amassing KOs, period. You are incredibly mobile, hard to hit, and your quick damage output will knock back or stun enemies who might be a threat to you, such as archers. This feature of the Wyvern Riders is this game's version of Link's Master Sword laser spamming from Hyrule Warriors. There is very little that your enemies can do while you're throwing out these attacks, and as a result, it's very tempting to use the Wyvern Riders only for this. Seriously, the dash slam mechanic is better than absolutely anything else that they can do. Just for fun, I recommend bringing Minerva and Camilla out in the history mode battles where you have a set time limit to just get as many KOs as you can, and see what you can do. With a strong weapon, you may find that you're getting 1000 plus KOs every minute just by spamming out this attack in crowded areas. Honestly, this attack feels like a design oversight that was thankfully never patched out. However, the sheer effectiveness of this move, compared to everything else that they and other area attackers can do, leaves my analysis for them in kind of a strange place. Without this slamming attack, Camilla and Minerva have a slightly underwhelming dual focus playstyle. With this slamming attack, they are absolutely broken, and can crush most KO goals within half of the time, and even some of the game's most challenging moments. I highly recommend picking one and sticking with them, as they will almost always be an incredible boon to your team. Do you feel anything? Well, Kenny, are you buzzed?